Hi, I'm Houston Singletary with Ableton and welcome to Getting Started with Live. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to set up your MIDI controller to work with Ableton Live. Before starting, you may need to install driver software that came with your controller, so check the instructions that came with your hardware. First, plug the square side of your USB cable into your controller and the wide side into a USB port on your computer. Some controllers get the power they need just by connecting them to the computer's USB port. But if your controller doesn't, you'll need to connect it to a power source and then turn it on. Now launch Live. Go to Live's Preferences by hitting Control plus Comma on a PC or Command plus Comma on a Mac. Click on the MIDI Sync tab. If your controller is set up properly, you should see one or more input and output entries for it in the MIDI port section. Now turn on the track switch for your controller's input port. Your controller should now be set up to play instruments in live. We can check this by playing the controller and seeing the yellow flashing square in the upper right hand corner. Live supports many control surfaces with instant mappings. These natively supported control surfaces will automatically adjust Live's built in devices and will reassign themselves when you select a new device. To see if your controller supports instant mappings, Go to the MIDI Sync tab in Preferences and click on the drop down menu in the Control Surface column. After selecting your control surface, select the MIDI ports it is connected to. Instant mapping functionality varies depending on the controller. For example, with the MPK25, every time a device rack is selected, its macros are instantly mapped to these eight knobs. The hand icon in the title bar of a device shows that it's currently controlled by your control surface. Finally, your controller may not support instant mappings, or you might just want to set up custom controls for your live set. Once again, let's go to the MIDI Sync tab in Preferences, and this time enable Remote for your controller's input port. You can now control almost anything in live with your controller. To do so, click the MIDI switch in the upper right hand corner. Click on the knob or function that you want to control, move the desired knob on your control surface, and finally click the MIDI switch again. That's it. Now you and your controller should be comfortably working with Ableton Live.